social media, you can see all the girls coming up right now. Y'all didn't have this. They didn't have no damn social media like this back in 1997. And when they did finally get social media, they start making fun of the WNBA. They made fun of these girls, but they didn't do that to the college ranks. They stood behind them. Look, Kaylin brought her whole state with her, her whole state. Asia, who did you bring? Who is your target audience, Asia? That's what, this is what I'm trying to tell you. We're talking about marketing. It's got nothing to do with color. Who is your target audience, Asia? Who out there is like, man, I really can't wait to go watch Asia play basketball? Who's saying that? Because I ain't heard nobody say that shit. <laughs> Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy Chocolate with the Sexy Body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolate Plays. We are back. Reaction videos for that girl. Okay, look, you know what it is, man. Look, guys, I want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart for rocking with me and all the support has been unreal. You guys have been subscribing like crazy. We got the descriptions up to 3.3 thousand. Yeah. Thank y'all so much, man, for rocking. I appreciate y'all. And look, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know when your boy drop videos and live streams. That like button, guys, I need y'all to smash the hell up out of it because it attaches me to the algorithm so other people out there in the world can find these videos and they can enjoy them just as much as you do. So everybody can get them a piece of chocolate. So y'all finna get y'all a real good piece of chocolate this morning. Boy, 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 I know y'all couldn't wait to hear me talk about this if I was going to talk about this at all. But there's a video out. There's a video out uh, with some comments that was made by Asia, by Asia Wilson, right? And we're going to go check out this video together because, you know, it's all about us, guys. It's all about us. We're going to check this thing out together. So if I'm assuming anything, we can assume it together. So let's get into this video, guys. Black girls. Us as black women. Asia reminds me a lot of you. Like, you say you're not really about me. She know, and she knows how her privilege has gotten her to that point. And also, like, she's good at basketball, obviously. Like she understands her privilege and yeah. like pushes her over the top in a sense. It reminds me a lot of you. And I think, and I mean, that's a compliment. This isn't so. How the hell is that a compliment? Hold on, let me get this shit out the way so I can get into this. Because I didn't see this video. Somebody tell me how the hell is that a compliment. Move that shit out the way. Tell me how the hell is that a compliment to say that somebody's privilege pushed them over the top. Yeah, they can play basketball, but they privilege pushed them over the top. What the hell are you talking about somebody's privilege in basketball? I ain't never seen nobody talk about somebody's white privilege in basketball. For real? I've seen somebody talk about somebody being the best, like Michael Jordan, the damn Jordan rules, or LeBron James, they're always getting fouled. But I ain't never seen nobody say, hey, man, they're using their white privilege on the basketball court today. Look at all those fouls they're getting. I ain't never seen no shit like that. Ever. That white privilege shit don't work in no damn basketball game? Hell no. It's going to go to whoever's the best team, whoever the, the, the best player. And right now, it seems like Caitlin Clark and Paige are the damn best players. That's what it seems like because the way that they keep talking about these girls. Look, Paige is up next. And if she got to go through anything that Kaylee went through, oh, my goodness, Paige, go somewhere else. Go to the European League or some shit like that. Don't you take your ass to the WNBA because that shit is silly. What you talking about privilege? Not one time have I ever in my mind thought that I was watching Kayla Clark play basketball because she was white. I never thought that shit. And even in fact, you know what I heard? I had heard that there was a girl who played basketball like Steph Curry. Nobody said she was white. They just said there was a girl that played basketball like Steph Curry. Listen to me when I tell you this. A girl that can play basketball like Steph Curry, one of the best of all time, one of the best shooters of all time. Because that's what you're trying to tell me. You're trying to tell me this girl can shoot her ass off then. And guess what? I go see her. I go watch her. I'm not concerned about her color. Because I'm more amazed that I'm watching a woman play basketball this good. <laughs> I'm amazed. Listen, listen. I'm from the old, I'm from the 80s. The first 80s. The 8-0. I'm from that shit. Where we watched these girls play basketball. And that shit was terrible to watch them girls out there play. Everything looked like it hurt for them to do. The moves looked like they was herky-jerky. It just wasn't fluid as what I see right now from these girls in the WNBA. Thank Kayla Clark for it. Because if it had not been for somebody telling me that somebody that plays basketball and Steph Curry, I never would watch this damn sport ever. I would have never watched the WNBA again. I ain't watched this shit since 1999. I ain't been watching no damn women's basketball. For what? It's not entertaining. Asia, your ass has been in the WNBA for six years. Six years. You are a two-time WNBA champion. You are a three-time MVP. You got two. you two-time defensive player of the year. Rookie of the year. All-time rookie of the year. You got all these shits. 
All did I, did I say six time All Star too? Did I put that up in there? You got and you going for a three peat. All that shit. Been in the league for six years. You've been in the league for six years, and you ain't got no damn shoe. You ain't had no shoe. Did nobody want to give? Who were you sponsored by Nike? Well, did all this just happen? Because for you to be as good as you are, and she is good, but I'm going to tell you something. I ain't never want to watch Chris Bosh or Tim Duncan play basketball. If somebody would have told me that was a woman that could play basketball like Chris Bosh and Tim Duncan, I'd have been like, oh, that's neat. So you think that she could play against the men? That's what I would have said. I wouldn't even go look at her. I don't, Chris Bosh is nowhere in my top anything to go watch play basketball or Tim Duncan. He's a great player. Let's not take anything away from five-time champion. Great player. But boring as hell to watch. Boring as hell. Asia is boring as hell to watch. I can't sit there and watch none of these damn games. No, it's boring. It's boring. It's, oh, no, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. Asia, look, you've been boring. That's what it is. You girls thought y'all was the best. I told y'all, y'all thought y'all was the best. No, 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 no. There's a new class of women coming into the league right now. And I'm going to tell you what they bring in with them. They bring in their audience with them. These girls have been, basketball games have been showcased everywhere. It's not like it was with it with y'all. Look, y'all didn't have no opportunities these girls got right now. Social media, you can see all the girls coming up right now. Y'all didn't have this. They didn't have no damn social media like this back in 1997. And when they did finally get social media, they started making fun of the WNBA. They made fun of these girls, but they didn't do that to the college ranks. They stood behind them. Look, Kaylin brought her whole state with her, her whole state. Asia, who did you bring? Who is your target audience, Asia? That's what, this is what I'm trying to tell you. We're talking about marketing. It's got nothing to do with color. Who is your target audience, Asia? Who out there is like, man, I really can't wait to go watch Asia play basketball? Who's saying that? Because I ain't heard nobody say that shit I, at all. People showed up in droves to watch Kaylin Clark play. To even watch her play in college. I've watched people show up at a freaking black restaurant to watch her play. They want to see her lose because of her beating Angel. That was the only reason that the black people want to be involved with it. I'm telling you, when you out there with an agenda, that's the only time that black people would get involved with it's an agenda. Other than that, they trying to be first. You see, Asia trying to be first. Hell no, nah, Kayla can't be the one to get a shoe. I need to get my shoe, not her. What you talking about? This is a crabs in a barrel mentality. Instead of saying you need to get a shoe before her, you should be happy that you getting a shoe. You should have been praising her because now you got one. Now instead, you know what's going to happen? People are not going to get that shoe. They're going to watch this video and see that, that controversy or that damn privilege comment you make. going be like, man, we ain't fucking with her. For what? You got to come out and get ahead of this shit. You got to get ahead of it because if you don't, you going to piss a lot of people off. I'm for y'all girls. I got y'all back. After I came and seen Caitlin play, I'm like, well, oh, the double, the league is good. Enrique, who is that? That's one of my favorite players to watch. Enrique is dynamite. But everything else is shitty. The behavior, the mentality is shitty. Let somebody make it so you can too. Because none of y'all was making it. Caitlin Clark come there and look at this. They want to play basketball, guys. People want to play basketball, and they don't want to see this nonsense. So get the shit together, Asia. We're going to talk some more about this, but not right now. I want to keep this thing short so everybody can watch it. I appreciate y'all for t tuning in. We got some more in the clip because I've been feeling some kind of way watching this WNBA. I came over here to watch Caitlin Clark play because they said there was somebody that could play like Steph Curry. Didn't say anything about him being white. Didn't care about that. What privilege? What the hell privilege is there in basketball? Y'all feel threatened. Y'all feel threatened. That's what it is right now because these motherfuckers is coming. They're coming. Go look over there in the NBA. This ain't got nothing to do with race. But go look in the NBA. What we got over there? Them Europeans is coming. Y'all better step y'all game up. Look at the WNBA. Look, them rookies is coming. Y'all better step get y'all game up. But y'all threatened, woman. Y'all women are threatened right now. Y'all should be embracing this. Enjoy. Enjoy it while it lasts right now. Because if you fuck this up any longer, it's all going to be gone. And if I'm Kalen... Hell with the WNBA. Let me go play somewhere else. Look, guys, that's my time. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Please hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel and become a part of Chocolatey Crew, hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you know when you drop videos and live streams. Until the next one, I'm out this thing. Peace. Peace.